Well, I never knew that Germany had volcanoes, but it does, and they're becoming active. Just like a lot of the Pacific Ring of Fire volcanoes have become active, and the Italy volcano, the Etna, which is, of course, on a supervolcano area. Germany volcano alert. Earthquakes spark fears of the magma rising underneath the Eiffel volcano in Germany. This is on Express UK by Alice Scarzi. German scientists are calling for a reassessment of the risk of a volcanic eruption in their country after the study detected deep, low-frequency earthquakes and determined magma could rise into the upper crust beneath the Eiffel volcano. Now, the deep, low-frequency earthquakes have been detected first time under the dormant volcano of Eiffel in North Rhine-Westphalia in the Rhineland. As the new paper shows, similar tremors commonly regarded as indicators of the movement of magma at great depths and this discovery suggests that magmatic fluids from the upper mantle of the Earth could rise into its crust under the East Eiffel volcano. The seismological dis uh, survey of southwest South Germany conducted groundbreaking study together with GFZ, German Research Center for Geosciences, Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, KIT for short, and the Seismological Survey of North Rhine-Westphalia. Professor Joachim Ritter of the Geophysical Institute and KIT said the detected earthquakes are generated at large depths and are characteristic by, uh, of the unusual low frequency. Their magnitudes are below the limit of human perception, but these low frequency earthquakes are generated at depths between 10 and over 40 kilometers deep where the Earth's crust and mantle are located. Professor Torsten Dan, head of the GFZ section, Physics of Earthquakes and Volcanoes, said that the deep, low-frequency earthquakes are regarded worldwide as an indication of the movement of magmatic fluids at greater depth. Such earthquakes can be observed regularly beneath active volcanoes, for example in Iceland, Japan, or Kamchatka, and we've seen uh, very recent earthquakes there. Despite these movements can be seen as evidence of an ongoing low re slow recharge of the magma chambers underneath the Eiffel volcano of Germany, experts urged not to perceive them as immediate precursors of a volcanic activity in the near future. Professor Ritter said, the rise of magma into the shallow crust is usually accompanied by swarms of high-frequency earthquakes, such activity has not yet been observed in the eastern Eiffel volcano area. Professor Dam said further, there is no sign of deformation of the Earth's surface, which should be clearly detectable during massive magma ascents. The Eiffel volcano last erupted about 12,900 years ago. The magma produced during that eruption shows it may have taken as long as 30,000 years to fill the upper magma chamber of the volcano, signaling the magmatic process takes a long time before sparking an eruption.